<laughs> Hi. What we'll prove is that Palo Alto Networks, by using security shortcuts, creates a big security risk for customers and dramatically increased probability of being hacked. The whole system configured by vendor recommended best practice was managed to be bypassed with more than 600 different ways. This cannot be resolved by a patch or a signature as the single pass architecture is fundamentally flawed. So let's look a little bit at the demo environment. Uh, we have a Windows XP service spec 2 as a victim. We have a Palo Alto network uh, gateway with the latest software and the latest security updates. And we have an attacker server running uh, StoneSoft's uh, Evera tool with the following uh, IP address. The phases um, of the demo is first verifying the latest software and security updates. Second, verifying best practices configuration according to vendor recommendation. Third, configuring security policy with all the threat prevention layers uh, and with the most strict profile. Fourth, testing the Palo Alto gateway that it successfully blocks the config attack without evasions. Then running the StoneSoft Invader tools with evasion uh, for uh, a little bit more than four hours. And then showing the results, 666 successful evasions and the log file. So let's uh, begin. Let's first make sure we use the best practices by Palo Alto Networks for securing against evasion. First, let's check the version, the PanOS version. We see it's the latest version, 7.0.3, and the latest uh, software update for security. Then we need to create a blocking profile. File blocking profile, we see that it's defined the same way uh, defined in the best practice. Then we need to create a zone protection profile. For design protection profile, we'll go to design protection and make sure to check the relevant checkboxes to block evasions as described in the best practices guide. Then we need to make sure that it's implied inside the zone, so we see here that it's implied in the internal and external zone. Now we have a bunch of CLI uh, commands that we need to also uh, put in the system, and we'll do like a quick copy and paste to make sure uh, it's on, and then we will uh, commit the policy. So let's uh, see it in action. That's it. Looks like we're all set and ready to go. First thing first, uh, the policy. We have here one simple rule called evader. Source any, any user, any destination, any application, uh, with any service with application default ports, and the action um, with the most strict configuration, antivirus detect all vulnerability protection, which is the IPS strict, anti-spyware um, strict. You are filtering the default one. File blocking as described in the best practices, the block PESMB, data filtering, and wildfire analysis. Now, let's go to the um, evader screen. And the evader screen will basically um, test the config worm, one of the most famous one, uh, CV 2008 um, And we will use the exploit as bind shell. This is the IP addresses that our source uh, IP of the attacks will be. This is the IP address of the Palo Alto Networks uh, gateway. And this is the target IP, which is a Windows XP service spec 2. So first we need to uh, make sure that the Palo Alto is blocking this attack and detecting this, this attack as designed. So we will, do, we will select manual evasions with no evasions and execute the attack. What are we getting is that attack finished. Let's look at the log. And we will see here that it says TCP socket closed due to maximum number of retransmit sends, probable IPS termination, meaning that probably the attack was blocked. Let's look at the logs in the Palo Alto uh, gateway. And as we can see here, we have a log basically detecting the attack successfully and blocking it. So that's good. So far, so good. Now we will add the evasion part of the, the same attack, and we will launch an attack again. This is a configuration of automatic evasion, meaning it will do all kinds of iterations of different evasions of IPv4, NetBIOS, SMB, MSRPC, etc. Let's press the execute and wait for a little while. In the meantime, let's look at the logs and see if it's starting to see attacks, because now we should see like a lot uh, or some lines that detecting uh, this traffic. Let's wait a little while. 
And we already see, we see that it started and it's starting to block some of the attacks. Now let's go here and we already see that we managed to bypass the Pali Alto networks with the latest uh, uh, version, uh, with all the most strict profile and with the best practices. We already see attacking starting to uh, succeed. Let's, in the meantime, look at the log. And as we can see here, this is how it looks usually. Shell found attack succeeded. So this is how it looks. Now, um, we're going to let it run uh, for a little while and see how many times it managed to evade the detection. A little over four hours has passed. As we can see, we're full steam ahead with more than 660 successful evasion. We're going to wait it reaches a nice round number. And 666 is the one. Let's look at the log. We'll be able to see a full audit trail of exactly what happened. The specific log can be found in a paste bin. You're supposed to see the link um, on the screen. And full log can be found there and viewed to your pleasure.